Once again, welcome to Odisha Lectures and Electronics and Optics. This is a very short video and here I am going to demonstrate you the usage of two functions that is the get named and set named for the numerical. Previously, you have seen that uh, you can call or you can uh, define a structure from the model or you can uh, call the source or the FTD directly from the model by using your code. But directly calling some functions or the source or some structure directly from the model has some severe problems. So let's define a structure directly from the model as I did in my previous videos. So here's a variable. So I'm clicking on the construction group. So delete all, you know why I need to put the delete all over there. And here I'm writing add rect to add a rectangle okay and test so no error and again i'm adding a plane web source so add plane so if i apply look here i have added a source and a structure okay but the problem is that i cannot modify any any of the property of the source uh, outside of the model because if you want to change the polarization say 90 degree you cannot change it uh, look uh, here it is showing that you are working on the constructed object and uh, no changes can be saved as you can see in this version of the numerical there is no ok button so i cannot change it but obviously you know that coding a structure and source gives you lots of flexibility but still you cannot code everything or you do not uh, require everything to code from the model. Suppose you have coded some basic structure source but simultaneously you want to change the basic property of the source or the structure from outside of the model and sometimes you may need to simulate your structure by varying uh, some parameters manually and if you define your structure or source or anything or monitor every anything directly from the model you cannot change any of their properties outside of the model so what to do yes here comes the functionality of the get named and set named so first of all i am deleting them all no construction group i'm unchecking them and i am deleting this rectangle and now here i am direct manually adding a rectangle first okay now here let's say i'm adding a source which is a plane wave source and i'm changing the direction along the x applying and i'm bringing at this position okay and obviously the simulation region over which the calculation will be done and none of this rectangle or the source and ability uh, have been called from the model okay now i want to change the property of the source so this is i'm suppose i'm going to change the polarization angle okay so directly i'm going to model and the script and here look construction group must be unchecked otherwise everything will be deleted okay so here i'm writing that set named set named and the first one is model and then I'm changing this property of source. And what is the property? Property is polarization angle. Polarization angle. And I'm changing it to 90 degree. Okay. So test, no error and applying. Okay. Look, the polarization angle gets changed already. And if you see that the change is applied. Now... If you want to change the uh, wavelength, look, I can change freely the wavelength directly from what there. So you can see once again the wavelength gets changed and this parameter is simultaneously controlled from the model coding. Okay. Similarly, you can do the same things for the ability to, to in order to change the property of the ability and for the rectangle or anything that you have within the design environment next one is the get named say for example i have a structure and i want to 
move into group so now rectangle is within the structure group and here i set the property say for example n say any number maybe the refractive index of that this value is suppose 2.5 now my objective is to do some calculation within the script existing under the model but the value that should be collected from the uh, structure group the property of the structure group uh, one of the property is the n the refractive index so in this case so here i am writing a variable which is n there is a new variable right now it has no relation uh, this n and the n that i have defined under the structure group these two are completely different so i am just linking them because i need to perform some calculation in the model so let's see so that is for that i need to write get named and i'm just copying these things so model and which one no right now it should be structure group structure group and which property i want that should be within the invited code and here you can put look this is the property n and i can set this property directly from me from here for the refractive index of the rectangle so set named source this is the structure group structure group and a rectangle and which property i want to change that is index and that should be n look the material is changed to 2.5 okay but this value is not due to the value that i set under the structure group over there okay because nothing is written over there as you can see this value i have called through the model to this coding and i said directly from over there so in this way you can gain the complete freedom of coding a structure or source or anything as well as you can directly uh, put some variable manually from the outside of the model okay this can be a nice tips when you are coding your numerical structure so for now best of luck thank you thank you very much